hey, it's wedding season, you've got a bunch of weddings to go to, and you need to know what colors are appropriate to wear to the wedding. Stay tuned. Well, hello, it's Heidi Dulaban, and today in this video, we are going to talk about what colors are appropriate to wear to a wedding and what's not. Okay, well, first of all, I'd love it if you'd please like this video and hit the subscribe button, please be so grateful. Okay, it's wedding season. You've got these invitations there. You're so excited to go. So what is appropriate? What colors should you wear or not wear? Well, let's just start off the bat. Let's get the don'ts out of the way. Please, the idea is don't upstage the bride. This is the bride's day. So I would not wear this. This is white, off-white. No, traditionally in Western weddings, brides wear white or ivory. It has its roots in England in 1840 when Queen Victoria married her beloved Prince Albert. And it was new. She started the tradition. It was not traditional to wear a white dress, but she chose that and it set off some beautiful British lace that was being made at the time. And she wore this white dress. And after that, it caught on and all the brides in the Western world, uh, lots of them. You do not have to. This is modern day, so many people can choose something else. But this is tradition. Brides traditionally in the Western world wear white. So do not wear white to a wedding. Now, maybe the, the exceptions are if the bride has said, listen, I want an all white wedding, everybody wear white or off white. That's okay, if you have permission, then that's great. Every now and then, I think every wedding I've been to, I've seen someone in sort of a off white or ivory thing. That's okay to a point, as long as you feel like you're not upstaging the bride. That's the question you have to ask yourself. Is this outfit going to upstage the bride? Then don't do that. If it's super, super sparkly, and this is not a very high-end black tie wedding, then maybe you should rethink that sparkly thing. Don't upstage the bride. It's her day. Okay, so me, I have been invited to an evening wedding, and it is cocktail attire. So I have on a wine-colored dress with feathers. I'm all fancy, and I'm ready for a great night. I'm not going to upstage the bride, but I'm dressed appropriately for a wedding and the, when the invitation said cocktail attire. Okay, how about some other things? You know, many people are going to beach weddings and it says uh, beachy casual. Well, this blue and white is perfect for beachy casual. It's easy peasy and it's fun. It's cool for a beach. It is just fine. Now, there are other beach weddings that say, um, maybe come a little more formal, you know, sort of um, a little more semi-formal, but we're on the beach getting married. And so something like this could be a little bit more appropriate, a little dressier. And sometimes that gets confused. Just because someone gets married on a beach does not necessarily mean this is not a very uh, fancy attire wedding. You know, you may just have the ceremony on the beach, take your shoes off and then you go into some very posh venue, a posh hotel or something, and you want to make sure you're dressed appropriately. So don't think that the, the whole event may take place on the beach. If it does, my little blue dress, I'm fine. Okay, other things to wear. Now, even though this has some white in it, there's a lot of black, and this is going to be just fine because there's all this other black. It's a black and white. It's fine. Okay, so now how about I've been invited to an afternoon wedding, and there'll be a small reception after the wedding in the late afternoon. I am fine in this. Yes, there is some white, but this is not solid white. That's what you want to avoid, solid white or ivory. So this has some nice spring colors. This is very appropriate. So this would be just fine with some grays and some yellows. Now, another thing would be how about you're going to a garden. Someone's getting married in a garden, beautiful garden, and then they're going to have dancing afterwards. 
something a little more frilly like this is appropriate i would feel comfortable in this something like this now the colors again more black and white that is just fine okay now there used to be an adage saying never wear black to a wedding that is an old tradition and that has waned so Today, it is okay to wear black to weddings. Um, be aware of the situation. Why was it not considered okay to wear black? Well, it was because black was usually saved for mourning. And this is a very, you know, someone has died and you're mourning the loss of someone, you wear black. Well, that was the tradition years ago was don't wear black to a wedding because a wedding is a festive, a very happy occasion, not a, a very sad where you're mourning the loss of a life. But, you know, things evolve, etiquette evolves, people evolve, thinking evolves. So yes, it is fine to wear black to a wedding today. Uh, in, I am have been invited also to a black tie wedding coming up. And this is what I'm going to wear to my black tie wedding. Uh, there's a few little sparkles, if you can see, but not tons. You know, when you're going to something and you really double check with the bride, just double check if, a full length sequin gown is appropriate or not, you're going to have to make that call. Again, you don't want to upstage the bride. That is the only question you really need to ask yourself. Will this outfit upstage the bride? Other than that, you want to look fabulous. I know. So I hope this gives you a little bit of some tips what to wear. And when the dress code says, you know, beach casual or beach semi-formal, you know, that's a hard call. Get a little more information if you can. If you're going inside from the beach, just be aware of that. So anyway, I hope this helps and have fun at the wedding. And I know you're going to look terrific. So everyone, please drop me a comment. What are you wearing to the weddings you've been invited to this summer? I'd love to read about it. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And as I always say, please be kind. Thank you.